All right, guys. You didn't think we were gonna give up, did you? This is day six. Judge is ready. We got uh, some bucks. They're about 300 or 400 yards away. Wind is horrible. It's actually going towards them, but we're already set up, so hopefully they come this way, but we'll keep you posted. We got them! <laughs> We're back. We're back out here deer hunting now. Juju's back out for his tag. Uh, last time he passed on some good deer. Uh, now we got a good spot here. Then you're getting tall. <laughs> so we're at a new, whole new area now. And uh, we're actually gonna do some hiking this time. We're gonna hike about a mile or two back into our spots for glassing. And maybe we'll get on some deer. There's really good bucks around this area. And I mean, you guys can see it's a whole different scenery. So it's gonna be a cool hunt. Stay tuned because there's gonna be something cool. We have a really good feeling Juju's gonna get it done on this trip. You can get it done. Yeah, we can get it done. He's pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. Let's go ahead and get after it. We're gonna drive up the road to the end of this one and hike a mile or two back into our first spot. We'll probably have an hour or so, hour or two hours of glassing before last light because we just pulled in set up cam, but let's get to it. You better be confident, boy. You better be confident. Give me the secret handshake. There you go. Let's go. Alright, we're way back in this back country now. And still hiking. Been hiking for about 30 minutes to an hour. And we're still going. Gotta try to climb this cliff really quick. Look at how far we've gone. Look at that. Truck's way down there, you can barely see it. Juju with the shed. Look at that thing, hold it up. Nice. That's an elk shed too, those are hard to find. All right, we see some monster bucks. I grossed up this batch of a group of bucks, probably two miles away. All of them are definite shooters for Juju. So we're gonna go ahead and try to make a move, get closer, see if it's possible. Should be plenty, enough time to get up there. All right, so we made it where we're going to. We're just gonna come up to this point and glass. Two big four by fours. Julian and uh, Senior are going to try to put a stock on them. Hopefully it works out, we, we don't know. They're in kind of a hard spot. They're literally on a canyon. In a canyon, I mean, but hey, they're gonna go give it a shot. Those are huge for, for a youth tag right there. Nice, nice deer. What we're filming those bucks with right now, uh, I know some of you guys are going to be wondering, it's actually a phone scope. Got on a Vortex Optic, that's a Viper. Vortex Viper spotting scope. You guys use promo code SENSITY10, you can save 10% off a purchase at phone scope. So, that's awesome. If you guys want to get awesome footage like we're getting right now, get yourself a phone scope. We use them all the time, and uh, they work. There's Julian and Senior right there. Hiking up. Well, for some reason, all those deer just booked it. I think something in that canyon coyote or something scared them, but there's the new deer we're going after. It was up there. It didn't run, so it's still up there.
I didn't know they were going to shoot. They shot one. Where's he at, though? I can't see him. He's in the screen somewhere. There's Senior and Juju. I'm praying to God right now that they got it. It's a nice deer. His rack's right there. Oh yeah, he's hurt. He's still up and walking. He's hurt bad though. I don't know if they're shaking more than I am for Gigi right there. He just put a bullet through a, a monster. It looked like a monster from down here at least. I'm shaking. Mixture of cold and excitement for the old Juju right there. I didn't know they were gonna shoot or I'd have been filming through the phone scope, but dang, this is why you hunt. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking for Juju right here. It was a beautiful buck. I don't care what size that was, it's his first, and that's one beautiful buck for his first right there. And heck of a buck. That might be bigger than the buck Senior and I had shot. You might have the biggest buck on the wall if they get this one. Well, then that means one thing, that means a lot of work tonight, getting them out. We still got about an hour and a half, probably a sunlight. Before it gets dark, but... This is insane. Can't believe it. They pulled it off. On the big one, too, up there. Oh, there you go. Dang it, dude. I thought that deer was expired, man. Oh, he shot again. He just shot. I think that's his last bullet now. Please, please, please. We've been putting in a ton of, ton of work to try to get him on the deer. Give me one. Oh my gosh. He held out and now look at the trophies he's got. We got him! Yeah, they just shot him. Yeah! Woo! They put him down. Big buck down, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe this just happened. Oh. oh, my gosh. He's dead, right? Let me make sure he's dead. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is unreal. I'm going to run up there really quick. I'm leaving everything down here. And we're going to go. <sighs> Dang, Juju's had one heck of a day. He found an elk shed and just shot a humongous buck. I'm going up there with them right now. Go look at him, Juju. My leg is shaking uncontrollably. Oh, my gosh. Still He's still moving. Holy smokes. Juju, Juju, <laughs> you don't want to run up on top of this hill. Wow. Mark your trail so we know how to get out of here on Onyx. It's real steep. Oh, he has a little crab on one side, but man, he's a beauty, Juju. Juju got it done. I'm hiking up there right now. I'm racing up there right now. I can't wait. I lost these bucks probably two miles away. I'm not even kidding you. They literally stalked for like two miles and got it done. I'm shaking so bad right now. For all you guys that have been hunting a long time, like I mentioned in one of my videos, that I've been hunting quite a while. Shot quite a bit of big game animals and a lot of stuff in my life already. It's fun, I love it. I love hunting. I gotta say, it's probably my favorite thing to do. But I'll tell you what, every once in a while, it feels absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing to, uh, 
take somebody else out like my brother this is one of his first hunts i i'll tell you what i haven't said it to his face he'll watch it in this video though i love taking juju out hunting because he doesn't go with us very often so when he comes out i just love i like taking new people out or like a family and stuff and helping them succeed i can succeed all i want myself but when i help someone else succeed like my brother right now just shot his first deer i glassed him two miles away we came up with a game plan and they executed it worked out great it almost feels better than if i shot the buck myself i think it does feel better actually jesus high elevation is killing me we're high high up right now this is true high country mule deer honey this is amazing absolutely amazing you guys saw how bad i was shaking unreal absolutely unreal first buck said he wanted a trophy he waited and now he got an absolute monster monster to us that thing is is a beast first shot 175 it was injured it ran down in this little valley right here after it ran down in this valley we followed it jew creeped up within like seriously like 15 yards and then just had to put another one in it in this buck because the sun's going down and we don't have much time it's gonna get dark and we seriously hiked like five miles back here and we don't want to get lost <laughs> right you mm -hmm. how do you feel you so good finally got something nice Took right. a long time. That was a hard hunt too. Chased him for like three miles. Yeah. Climbed up the whole mountain all the way across the mountain. It was like five miles. Seriously, we'll know for sure. We'll check Onyx and see how Chasing how far we went. And this gun has a kick too. I mean, I'm gonna have a bruised up shoulder. <laughs> yeah. That's good though. Take your time. It's it's rough. There's not a chance on this side of the Rio Grande that you just got that done, you. That's true. Any help? Here, this. I got the rest. That's true. Uh, high country mule deer hunt. I haven't. I haven't even shot a mule deer this far back in the back country yet. We're probably four miles from a road. They crazy, dude. Yeah. You do the sniper goat nuns. Did you get an adrenaline rush finally? Yeah. You probably felt it right there. I'm, sure. I'm good now. I just needed to catch my breath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ended up getting the big one. Yeah, well, one of them. Well, that was the big one I spotted up there. A little crabby right here, but yeah. holy cow. How far was that first shot? Oh, 175. Yeah. Huh? It's yes. heavier than heck. I got yes. pretty much everything. I got a horn. I got meat but in the back. I got the head. <laughs> I got the pads and stuff. I got a shed. He, yeah. has a, he has the back straps. He has some meat in there. He has the horns. He has everything. Man, you carried the rifle, the, the shooting sticks. I literally just carried that like four scope. miles. We just I, had out of there about four miles. Four did you carry the scope? Man, I lost my one rate jacket on the way down. Yeah. I tumbled down the hill. I was carrying the meat. I was carrying the meat, man, and I tumbled and I lost my jacket. Yeah. All right, let's get some Gatorades out. Let me unstrap you. So last night I was carrying all four quarters of the deer. Yeah. Adrian was carrying the antlers, the head, the back straps, center loins, everything else in the backpack. But well, last night we made a wrong turn. We made a wrong turn. We ended up at the bottom of this valley and I just, I had already hiked over three miles and I couldn't get the all four quarters up so we hung it in the two rear quarters we came back to get this morning so we had to hike back out here two miles now we got it I actually dropped my one rate jacket last night I took a tumble down that hill but we're good now hike down this hill and we're out of here you harvest an animal you always They're special it. animals. You never waste meat. You pretty much owe it to the animal to 
use it to the best of your abilities. So, of course, we're gonna hike back in here and do that little bit of extra work to get the rest of the meat. And then, uh, yeah, we just we pretty much owe it. I view it as you owe it to the animal to, to get the meat out of the field as best quality as you can so it tastes the best and eats the best pretty much. All right, guys, we're actually calling it a trip now. We didn't get much footage from last night because it got dark on us quick, and we literally had to hike out probably, I'd say, four miles. We had to hike probably about four miles, but Juju got it done on an absolutely beautiful buck. First buck ever. No complaining there. That thing was beautiful. Juju, though, I'm proud. I'm proud. No. <laughs> got done. He even found a shed. He had one heck of a day yesterday. My first shed I ever found. Wow. Yeah. The big old elk shed, too. I mean, those are hard to find. Seven day hunt. What was your experience? Four days, four and a half days the first time and about three days this time. I mean, the experience was cool. It's just, it's rough out there though, but once you finally get the buck, it's just like, you get relieved and it's just a tough experience, but I enjoyed it. It'll be, it'll be a memory you'll have forever, especially if you're watching the video. That's one awesome thing about filming your guys' hunts and stuff is that you can always look back. Like I watch hunts from four years ago that we got on film. There's a video you took of me like when I was 10 shooting a doe I'll never forget it now because of that but awesome awesome hunting trip uh, we cleaned up the campsite as you guys can see we left it better than we found it always do that make sure you guys do that if you're gonna camp somewhere but this was our first like actual backpack hunt we went way back there we like I said he shot the deer four miles from the truck and uh, insane so we're gonna go ahead and call it a trip now uh, we're gonna go head home he's gonna go ahead and take a bath and something no. <laughs> Stay tuned because we're going to go home and cook the tongue. Uh, we usually eat beef tongues, like cattle tongues. They're amazing. So we're going to go ahead and try out this uh, uh, deer tongue. we got a cool recipe for it, and it's super tender. So stay tuned for that. I'll tell you guys what I think of it. Good job, Ju. You are the man of the hour. You're the man of the century right now. Thank you, thank you. Big buck, big elk shed, heck yeah. What can I say? It's probably because I'm part of Sin City Outdoors. <laughs> Check out our merch at SinCityOutdoors.net. All right, let's go. So once again, we spent plenty of time out here. Juju's first deer hunt ever. Uh, it was kind of a struggle. Out here seven days. We wanted to get him on a solid buck. We don't want to have to shoot some little buck for him on his first deer. So now I guess you can call him spoiled because he's going to be not satisfied on any of his future hunts unless they're that big. But we're going to go ahead and call it a trip. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I mean, you, you, a lot of you guys are supporting Juju throughout this whole trip. We've been posting a lot of hunting videos from this and he got it done. So if you guys like it, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for weekly outdoor videos to the minimum. We're posting more than a week most of the time but other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you outdoors